guys, this is Kate with Songwriters Vanish here in Venice, California. We just watched our friend and fantastic badass indie artist Shane Alexander play a beautiful set that we just watched upstairs. Thanks for hanging with us, Shane. You um, kind of encompass the the epitome of indie artist and getting yourself out there and all of that. So let us know how you started and kind of some cool things that you've done to get you to where you are right now. My first real record came out in 2005, and uh, I self-financed it and hit the road in support of it, and that took me uh, all over the U.S. and abroad, and from there I just started to get my legs and brick by brick build a fan base. And um, by the time my second record came out in 2006, I, um, I started getting a lot of TV uh, placements, and that really drove the business. And uh, then I got to tour with Jewel a few times that year, and then going into uh, 2007, and uh, all the while, just the TV stuff was really coming together really well. And um, and uh, so went back to Europe a few more times. Now I think uh, going in, I'm going to go to Europe this fall, and I think it's my 10th or 11th trip now since 2005. Wow. So I, I've been pounding the pavement. You know, the, the main thing that's important is just be proactive, work, 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 make good shit, and take it to the street. You know. Let me inside You open wide I give you my heart You lost the strength To face the world outside I give you my eyes But I can't make you see You just Are you saying that you were able to make enough money from the film and TV placements to basically help you um, do the touring part of it? And that was, how did you get into that for people who are trying to get into film and TV? Well, initially it happened really organically. Um, trying to think what my first placement was. I have a, a one a, one main agent who's brought in about 50, 60 percent of what I've gotten. And then a lot of it has happened completely organically through people at shows or through publicists or friends or whatever. And um, uh, but yeah, I think I think my agent got my first placement. It was on Laguna Beach, which is a now defunct MTV show, and got the ball rolling. And, and uh, now I think I'm I've got around 40 TV placements, and, and awesome. so that's really helped. You know, so the, the the licensing thing and the touring thing, I make money on the road, mm -hmm. and um, you know the two together keep me in business. Beautiful. And the records that you've put out are just amazing. And now you've got your fifth record? Uh, fourth. I have an EP. Fourth. That okay, really an EP. Count. So an fifth, a fourth full album coming yeah. out. Yeah. And um, talk to us about that. And, and then you're embarking on another tour to promote that, right? Yeah. Uh, my fourth record is called Mono Solo. It comes out on June 1st. And um, Billy, who I think you spoke to early, uh, uh, Billy Moeller and I did it together. And... Uh, I'm extremely proud of it. I think sonically, uh, you know, we went into new places. And between my last record, The Sky Below, which is 2008, and, and now I've had a lot of serious life experience. And, and I think that really informed my songwriting. And, you know, this, this record is, is very, very heartfelt and means a lot to me. And, um, and at the same time, you know, uh, it's not uh, particularly dark. It's, it's got a, I think it's a nice ride. In this age where people are just kind of picking off singles, especially driven by television or whatever, I still firmly believe in the album as an art form. And, and whether or not it dies out, it doesn't really matter to me. But I think most artists that were inspired by the greats, you know, at the end of our days, we want to look back at a, a bunch of a catalog of records, you know, because a record is a document of a time in your life and your, the influences you've taken in and stuff. And and uh, I, I'm really proud of it. I think it's beautiful and I think it's really strong and we, we had a lot of fun working on it. Well, I've heard some songs from your record that you've played live. We haven't heard the album yet, but um, just awesome songwriting. Oh, again one more time what it is and then where you're going to be this summer and, and what you're doing and even through the fall to promote this thing. That's a lot of stuff to remember. <laughs> um, the album is called Mono Solo. It comes out on June 1 and immediately uh, I'm doing a record release here in Los Angeles at the Mint 
and then uh, on June first. First, June first, and then uh, I've got a thing up uh, Northern California, and then I go to the East Coast for two weeks. Um, where am I going? Starting in the South Charleston, working up to the through the Carolinas into Philly, um, New York, Pittsburgh, Cleveland, Columbus, Cincinnati, Nashville, Atlanta, stuff like that. And then um, I come home for a brief. Uh, laundry and repacking and then I'm going to go to Sweden for two weeks which is this is uh, my first time going to Scandinavia and uh, they're taking one of my older songs uh, a song called Amsterdam anyway they're taking that to radio in in uh, Sweden and so I'm going to go over and you know get my Sweden on and then I come home from that I'm going to do more uh, east coast and some west coast and then September uh, I go to Denmark for the first time and I think I've got about eight or ten shows in Denmark and then Germany, and then Holland, and uh, possibly France or something, but we're definitely locked in for Denmark and Germany and Holland. And then uh, we come home and we'll uh, hit the bricks, I'm sure, more in the States. Mm -hmm. We look forward to that. And that's what it's about, you guys. <laughs> Hard work, killer album, but this guy busts butt and tours around the entire world to have people hear it and buy the record. So that's what it's all about. And you got to put in the hard work, right? It's not uh, it's it's a job for crazy people, basically. <laughs> exactly. It's a job for nuts. But this guy's good, so it's worth it for him. So let us know how we can find you What's your website and where people can stay in touch with you and come see a show. Well, uh, I'm uh, all the usual suspects, uh, MySpace slash Shane Alexander. Um, you can find me on Facebook. I've got a fan page on Facebook. And uh, my regular website is Shane Alexander Music, ShaneAlexanderMusic.com. And uh, that's currently getting a fresh facelift for the new record. And um, I'm easy to find. Google, and there I am. All right, ShaneAlexander.com will link you to everything you guys need to know. Check this guy out. Shane, thank you so much for hanging with us. Great show tonight. This guy is awesome. Check him out and let that inspire you as well. For now, Kate signing off for Songwriters Vantage from Venice, California. Bye, guys. Yes.